the great in 1954 treaty would have been violated. After, after the great firefight, the alien human war, I am the only living survivor talking about it worldwide at all. The only one. The other two are in nursing homes in Canada, and the Canadian government refuses to allow any U.S. people, including myself, to talk to them because they are afraid of kidnap. Probably the reason I got shot to pieces and 11 attempts on my life is I am a direct threat to the entire system. The New World Order, the alien agenda is one and the same. It's world takeover and the decimation of the population of this planet. Now I'm going to tell you something a little bit different about the alien species. The bad news ones, there are nine races of alien populations. To look at a human being is a bag of food. They're not cannibals. They don't eat the flesh and the bones and all that kind of stuff. They use the glandular secretions of animals and human beings as a mixture of the vitamins for their food. They get high off of our adrenal gland substances called adrenal chrome. It's, a, it's something like uh, cocaine to them. Now, what can we do about it? We Right now, if we do nothing, we can do nothing about it, and it will continue to go on. Basically, we'll be led in the dark, and you'll keep seeing more and more people disappear. Right now, there's 100,000 children totally unaccountable through FBI archives, cannot be traced anywhere. They haven't been murdered. Nobody's ever seen them. I think they're hauled underneath in some of these bases, and they are summarily done away with, and they are literally eaten. Now, that is a scary thing indeed. Some, and I'm not asking you to believe me in total. I am asking you to seriously do enough homework that you can go out in through the public record, through the congressional records, find out who's voting for what, and go from there. Do your own program. Do your own agenda and do your own speaking out. And if enough of us do this, there is some saving grace. However, we don't have a whole heap of time left. Technological governments on this planet are raping the planet. We're, we're going to run out of everything that we need. I'm going to pollute everything in sight in the better part of 20 years. Now I know you've heard some poppycock stories. Oh, we're going to run out of coal. We're going to run out of gasoline. We're going to run out of this, that, and the other. And 25 and 30 year, years ago, you heard all this hogwash. Well, don't believe it. Basically, anything you read in a paper, you should take with a grain of salt. Start reading and what is missing out of the article. Ask yourself, what's missing in this article that I should know? Maybe that's the truth. Fill in the blank spots, so to speak. White copy is only one leg of the triangle. There are two other legs, two other pieces of the puzzle. What we have to do as a group of people, concerned people at that, and this group seems to be the, no, quite that, is we have to assert ourselves in a way that we've never thought possible. Now, I'm not asking you to do what I'm doing. But I'm telling you, what I'm doing is very important. Every one of you is equally important. You wouldn't be in this room otherwise. You know, all these other people out here that didn't come to the lecture, they really don't want to hear it. I, uh, yesterday I heard a fellow who says, I'm sorry to say I, I belong to uh, this military organization, that military, militant organization. I, I don't believe in the alien question. I, 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 there's no proof of it. And so I show him an artifact and he says, well that's nice. And, but that could be lead. Well, I happen to know this isn't lead. It scratches diamond and it's harder than that. 